Now it's time to continue on with the main quest, find the ordinary altered world event area. Pretty when that all explodes. Oh, bridge operator. Gotta be a way to rotate these tracks. Maybe there's a control panel nearby. Work chat teeth. Guess who just had to inspect an inbound delivery of like a hundred teensy tiny little boxes? Me, that's who. And you know what was inside each one? A single human tooth. Fucking gross. gotten in here when it was turned this way? Yeah, can I turn it back? No. Okay. Then I'm sure there must be another way to access those places. Must be the sound of those things dying. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, that's... Wait, where does that lead? Need more energy cubes. Ah. Is there just the one? Oh, no, two. But I don't think. Hmm. Hold on. Let me check something. Yeah, that's probably the power. I don't care about that. That's probably the power for the elevator, right? Or do, do just all three need to be opened? Or put into place? Well, I can't take it back, so... Yeah, I guess all three just need to be done. Okay, where's another one? I didn't miss anything first. Like, did I miss anything down here? I didn't explore it very thoroughly. I thought after that first shot, I was like, oh, yeah. Figured you wouldn't be able to burst through the wall, but then it worked. I wonder if those paintings indicate you can burst through the wall, because I saw another painting somewhere. Or picture. I think it's a picture, not a painting. Let me go find it. Uh, yeah, here it is. Ha ha ha! Oh, that is so cool! I feel very clever for having figured that out. God, I wonder if there's unmarked places that you can burst through the wall. Really, really extra super secret, super special secret secret places. By the way, is there anything on top of this thing? Nah. To the elevator. So we're in the transit corridor, so we're going straight to the Altered World event. I love Jesse's hair. You can see... Hopefully they don't notice us. You can see it's got those little strands sticking down the side that didn't get caught up in the ponytail or they're too short for it or something. It's really cute. Spotted us.
Airplane Evaluation Order The airplane in question has been brought in from a private airfield located in the town of Cincinnati. It's suspected to be connected to the Altered World event and is being evaluated for altered status. The plane is currently being stored in the transit corridor in the containment sector, brought there through the New York subway tunnel. Special access and links to urban legends centered on ghost stations, abandoned tracks, and the plane's black box is currently being evaluated for and initial readings have been taken by a research team, though no altered status has yet been detected. Oh, must have been related to the ordinary altered world event, right? Ordinary Altered World Event Stage 1A uh, Witness Testimonies The first slide was a room with dirty wallpaper and dolls on a shelf. There were lots of dolls. Uh, DF must be Dylan Faden. Interview 2002 The house was empty. No one lived there. We played in there a lot. It was our secret playhouse. Jesse Faden, Therapy Session 2010 I went to school with Neil. Some kids called him Nosebleed Neil. Note, likely Neil Hosenberg, missing. He was mean. He had asthma. Tom, note, likely Tom Barlow, missing. And his gang, Freddy, likely Fre Frederick Bartwell, missing. Hugo, no one by this name is found in the public records, bullied him. We brought Neil to the dump to play. Dylan Faden. Extrapolated information. Unconfirmed existence of additional slide. Designation House. America overnight, celebrating 29 years, shining a light in the shadows. Thank you for staying with us. Here's our first call. Hi. What I'm about to tell you, if they found out, I don't know what would happen. If who found out, brother? The men in the suits. They told me it was an industrial accident. But this is something else. Something nobody talks about. Ordinary. This certainly doesn't sound very ordinary, Colin. No, not ordinary. Ordinary. It's a town. And it wasn't an industrial accident. I mean, that's what they said. But that's bullshit. Whoa, please watch the language, Caller. It may be 2 a.m., but we're still a family show. I'm sorry. It's just my brother was there. They said the town was destroyed, but it wasn't. I went there. The people are gone, but the town's there. It's still there. So the population of an entire town disappears, yet the town remains. Tell me, was the phrase, there is no salvation written anywhere? I'm, I'm not sure. The same thing happened in Brazil in 23, a village called Fort Verde. More than 600 people just up and left. The government said they were fleeing guerrilla forces, but we know the truth. A mass abduction, as predicted by my regular guest, Dr. Casey Rubin. Abduction? You mean aliens? That's bullshit! I know they're lying! Now I warned you about the language, caller. I'm afraid we're gonna have to cut you off. Good timing, too. It's time for a short break. Hang in there. America Overnight will be right back. The slide projector, isn't it? We're hearing some nasty noises. Ordinary summary. An altered world event occurred in the town of Ordinary caused by an object of power, slide projector. 
discovered by local children at the dump outside of town. When a specific set of slides are used in the projector, the projected images open doorways to other dimensions. Multiple slides were used by the children, resulting in the disappearance of the town's adult population. Event Response On August 30th, 2002, siblings Dylan Faden, 10 years old, and Jesse Faden, 11 years old, were playing at the local dump when they found a discarded slide projector. A team laid by, uh, led by Director Trench and Dr. Darling arrived at the site on September 14th. The Altered World event had ended with the team found the Faden children, who led them to the slide projector and the slides, which had been burned with the exception of one. Jesse escaped when agents attempted to detain the pair. In total, 17 surviving individuals were found in the town. All of them were brought in for questioning and tests. There is a curious correlation oh, it's not the slide projector. Just a projector. Upon our world ...in the form of altered world events. These forces gravitate toward archetypal objects, a gun, a television, a supposedly haunted house. So, clearly humanity affects this process. Our collective unconscious is a, a map of sorts. We hold the key, but we don't know how to use it. We create these archetypes through everyday life, popular culture, urban legends, but we are observing and influencing a complicated system in action. We can change the likelihood of something being a receptacle for these forces just by thinking about it. But we haven't found a method to control the outcome. And yet, there is something unique in us, in our dreams, in the conceptual reality with power with our minds. What's the cause and what's the effect? Are we the starting point or just a necessary evil in this? A byproduct, a reflection, a projection. We'll struggle to find the answers to these hard questions or die trying. Or just a projection. That was timely. Oops. Ordinary Altered World Event Stage 4A. The witness testimonies. Jesse and me followed the dung monkeys to the cave. There was a lot of them. More of the kids from town had joined up. It was really scary. Jesse grabbed the projector and we ran as fast as we could. They chased us. I fell and hurt my knee. Jesse tried to help me, but the dung monkeys were coming. They were just about to get us. But then Neil showed up. Neil looked like a dog. Like a melted dog. But I knew it was him. Neil said a lot of times he didn't like being a boy because Tom just beat him up. I think he liked being a dog. Interview with Dylan Faden, 2002. The projector wouldn't turn off, so we changed the slide to the hand... I heard her immediately. She promised to help. Jesse Faden, 2010. Jesse said we should call her Polaris. It's because she was doing stars at school. Dylan Faden. Extrapolated information. Additional slide designation hand is verified and in bureau possession. Unconfirmed existence of paranatural entity designation dog kneel. <laughs> dog kneel. Right, so the hand slide, that's where Polaris was. They were inside there. disappeared when he cleansed it. 
Oh, that was an enemy body that just happened to land there. I, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> I thought it was a, a non-hiss. Annual evaluation of Dylan Faden, formerly P6, performed by Dr. Carla Vaughn. The questions asked here correspond to the fifth iteration of the Gunner's psychological assessment. Are you ready, Dylan? Let's begin then. In a single word, describe the world around you. Where's Casper? Dr. Darling is out of the building today. He's never out. He didn't want to come, did he? He never visits, not since Roberts. To tell Darling it wasn't my fault. I couldn't control it yet, but I can now. I learned. Will you tell him? In a single word, describe the world around you. A prison. A cold, empty prison. Not even a poster on the wall. Mm hmm. What is the next number in the sequence 3, 6, 9, 12, 15? 18. What day is it today? How the hell would I know? It's not like you give me a calendar. You find a rabbit in the woods. It is breathing, but not moving. You cannot see any blood. What do you do? Leave it. Expand on that. It doesn't matter. The rabbit's not real. None of it's real. What day is it today? Do you enjoy asking people questions that can't be answered? Is, is this what gets you up in the morning? What you dreamed of doing as a scared, stupid little girl? Can you describe a dog to me? In Ordinary, we had a friend. Nosebleed Neil. And when it all went crazy, you know what I mean. Nosebleed Neil turned into a dog. Or something like a dog. What day is it tomorrow? Fuck off! I don't know! There is no calendar! How can I fucking know? Dylan, calm down. Fuck you! Fuck you and fuck Casper! Hey, hey! Uh, are you watching this, you old fuck? Did you send your bitch because you're too scared of me? Where is Casper? Security, get a team in here. I need... They've basically tortured Dylan since they were, what, 10 years old? Oh, hey, can I do any upgrades? Not that there's any other weapon forms I really care to use, but, like, I might as well, right? Spin. Shatter. I guess I'm more likely to want to use shatter. Maybe those pictures mean you can break the wall as well. Hmm. Ordinary Altered World Events, Stage 1B. Witness Testimonies. The second slide we called The Meadow, but it was really just an empty lot with a bunch of weeds. There was a shack and a phone line. It smelled like flowers there. It was powerful. Intoxicating. We had crazy dreams there. It must have been because of the smell. I didn't like it. Didn't like losing control. In the dreams, everything was melting. And then, when we'd come out, everything had melted around the projector. Jesse Faden, 2010. Neil was really into it. We found out he'd been coming there more and more on his own. Then Tom beat the secret out of Neil and found the projector. He and his goons took it. From 2010, Jesse Faden. And then now from Dylan Faden. We thought Neil had got lost inside the meadow when Tom changed the slide, but that's not what happened. Extrapolated information, unconfirmed existence of additional slide at designation meadow. Wait, so what did happen when they changed the slides? world event stage 4b we went in and met polaris like a star she told us we were special she made us special 
It felt like being born or reborn, the world fading in for the first time. Familiar, but somehow different. Jesse Faden, 2010. Polaris told us how to turn off the projector. The dung monkeys and the not mother were coming straight at us. Dylan was crying. I turned it off and they were gone. It was over. I took all the slides and burned them. All of them except hand. Extrapolate information. Unconfirmed existence of paranatural entity. Designation Polaris. Created the whole town in miniature. Oh, no. I don't want to wreck this tiny town. Altered World Events Stage 3. Tom and the others have gotten worse. Scarier. The math teacher, Mrs. Chester, tried to make them listen and... They pushed over a piano on her, broke her legs, then Tom bashed her head in. Bye-bye, Mrs. Chester. I always liked her. I liked math. Dylan Faden in 2002. Are they talking about, like, a fantasy that happened, or did that actually happen? That was the tipping point. It was Lord of the Flies level bad. The grown-ups realized something was wrong. The police came and literally dragged Tom and Hugo and the others away. Tom was screaming that the not-mother would make them all go away. They enacted a curfew for every kid in ordinary. Mom and Dad were pissed, asking us about the dump, about everything. I remember wanting them gone, like Tom had said. When we woke up the next morning, pretty much all the adults had just vanished. Was I responsible? Did I... I don't know. Jesse Faden, 2010. Extrapolated information. Disappearance of majority of Ordinary's population confirmed to result from slide projector related altered world event. Okay, yeah, this is not some fantasy. This actually happened. Tom and the others had gotten worse, so the slide projector... Or something that came out of the slide projector had changed them. Need the murderous. projector in the dump outside town. Did they recreate that too? Is that where they keep it?
So is this the... Yeah, this must be the dump. That's what all these are. So it shows it as stage one. Are the different stages showing a progression of time and how it affected the town? Like the first stage, it was just at the dump. That's why it's all inside of this ring. And then stage two, it's now like spread to the woods. Stage three, it's in half the town or more. Stage four, it's everywhere. They say when you visit your childhood home, everything feels small. Like a miniature, not real. They got that right. Let's check the notes. Yeah, it looks like it is a progression of time and also its effect on the town getting bigger and stronger. Because these are just about using the projector for the first time and going into its places. We have nothing on stage two, and then stage three is where Tom and the others have gotten worse, scarier. So I think this is the first time that the town erupted into chaos as a result of this. And then four, they're being followed by the dung monkeys and the the not mother or whatever. And Neil was a melted dog, <laughs> and they were running around and went to the hand, and that's where Polaris came in and helped them. a poem last time we talked by Thomas Zane yes beyond the shadow you settle for there's a miracle illuminated hmm. I looked the poem up only I couldn't find any poet by that name I did find a European filmmaker who moved here in the 60s named Thomas Zane what I don't know matter it suits you very well the poem? How you see things? Maybe you wrote it yourself? I didn't. No matter. You've said a few times that you feel like there's a piece of you missing. Can we talk about that? Okay. Yeah, um... It's this... I feel... an emptiness. A yearning for... Something that I think I lost. It's natural for you to feel that way. Your brother and your parents are dead. No. No. Dylan's not dead. And that's not even it. You're referring to the imaginary friend from your childhood? Polaris. She's come back. After a long time, she's calling me. In a dream I saw, she... She showed me things. Jesse. It felt more real than anything. As real as what happened in Ordinary. The industrial accident in your hometown? That you believe Polaris caused? No, it wasn't an accident. There was no industrial accident and Polaris didn't cause it. She saved me and Dylan. Jesse. No. It was a cover-up. The government knows about it. There were agents there. Agents from... I don't know exactly. They took Dylan. They... I'll find them. I won't stop looking. Polaris wants me to go to New York. There's a building there. I have to leave soon. I have to be there at a very specific time. Something... Something hugely important is going to happen. Jesse, you know we can't let you go until you're well. And that begins by understanding what's real and what's imagined. We can't let you go. So they were under mandatory psychiatric evaluation. Which means either... Either they were having a severe mental health crisis... Or, another thing that's honestly quite likely is that this government agency, the Bureau of Control, obviously has tons of power. I mean, they could have just basically kidnapped Jesse.
Oh, yes. Also, the mention of a poem that the psychiatrist said they searched for and couldn't find anything by them. That makes me think. That plus Jesse saying that I feel like a part of me is missing. And also, nearly all the parents disappearing in the town. I think that our Jesse and Dylan's parents might not be dead. I think Jesse might have come from a different universe. I think Jesse maybe switched universes. That would explain why they knew about a, potem a poem that didn't exist in this universe. And a lot of other things. I don't know how Polaris plays into all that, but... Ordinary Supplement. Details are largely based on interviews conducted with Dylan Faden and the obtained therapy sessions of Jesse Faden as well as circumstantial evidence found at the Ordinary site. Note that accounts provided by all three sources contain conflicting data. Example, Dylan Faden claims there were eight slides for the projector. Jesse Faden mentioned nine slides. The Bureau found one intact slide and the burnt remains of six others. Unfortunately, these slides are too badly damaged to be used in the projector. Jesse Faden is believed to be the individual responsible for burning the slides. Notes. Dr. Darling has ordered that the entirety of the ordinary town dump be brought to the Bureau for examination and analysis, with the hopes of finding additional slides or other altered materials. Due to the limited space in the investigation sector, this altered world event will be investigated in the containment sector. It seems like no one's been here for a while. Everything looks kind of abandoned and... Just wrapped up. Even the furniture. Some of it, anyway. They moved the whole landfill here in the middle of New York, and nobody saw a thing. Pretty unbelievable. Yeah. Dump cessation of work order. By order of Dr. Darling, all work in the ordinary dump is to stop effective immediately. Resources will be allocated to the department. Details will be forthcoming. This area will be sealed at the end of the month. Please remove all personal effects before that time. Any photographic slides, the type used in slide projectors, found in the area should be delivered to Dr. Darling immediately. I wonder why they abandoned it, just weren't finding anything, or is there something more? Globe Supplement. Wolf Globe. The item was found in the penthouse suite at... Toronto, belonging to David Wolfe, who is being investigated for illegally dealing in altered materials. Bureau agents raided his penthouse and found numerous paranatural belongings, including in this item. Mr. Wolfe was arrested. Supplementary Materials, article from the Toronto Daily. So why would a 36-year-old Bay Street investment trader, filthy rich, married to a model, disappear overnight? That's the question that's kept Toronto high society up at night this past week. Police say it's being looked into. Some nutjob radio show in the States claims he disappeared to join the Illuminati. But it's this reporter's opinion that Mr. Wolf, bored of his job, sick of his family, left it all behind to retire in some remote beach paradise. Now he's sipping Mai Tais while the world thinks he's dead.
I didn't realize they actually seek out enemies. The charge weapon, I mean. Make sure I don't miss any documentation here. Jukebox token, like I'm ever going back. I got what I needed. Album cover. Uh, and a quote from Jesse Faden. I was nine or something when I found my dad's Old Gods album. I became a huge fan instantly. monitor is oddly suspicious, isn't it? Mm, maybe not. There's other ones. Okay, never mind. I'm not going to press that button until I've gone to Darling's lab. Effective immediately. I'm setting up a new department. Dimensional research in the research sector. Uh, transferring the slide projector there. That's where my focus will be now. The ordinary site remains as is. We'll be back to... I, I don't know when. Darling took the projector to the research sector. He dedicated a whole area to it, so he knew it was important. Dimensional research. That's where we go next. New mission, finish Tango. Interesting. I wonder why it's named that. So, that was a really strange recording from Darling. The way they were acting. Remember before I asked, did they abandon checking out the ordinary dump because they just weren't finding anything or because something happened? I think the answer clearly is something happened. Darling looked scared, confused. They seem kind of desperate. What the hell happened? Oh, 
Oh, that's what we just watched, right? Dylan's a lost cause. Oh, no. I know I struggled to see this, but we contained him now. I wish I had sided with Marshall. Back when it's just one person. So many dead. I thought his youth was an asset. I'd... Just too much too soon. Effective immediately. I'm setting up a new department. Dimensional research. In okay, so we just didn't see the whole message. So Dylan didn't just kill the one person. Later they killed many. You can hang up now, please. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Descent. Former. Former being that huge worm thing. They fired the worm. So it's in dimensional research, which is obviously not here, but that still leaves us with this. Oh, that leads back to the hub, of course. Yeah. But we... S Ooh. We still haven't been to the Sterling Altered World event, which is on the map. A question mark. welcome thing that's going to try to kill me anyway. I don't suppose the bridge operator thing works now and I can switch it back to the other way and I don't suppose it would open the Sterling place? No. I guess we'll just have to wait for that. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when we return, it looks like we have some new stuff to talk about with Emily, and then for the main quest, we have to go back to the ashtray maze, where hopefully this time we can actually make it through.